Okay. So that's the forward walks. And so we've done the forward walks and the side steps. Okay, and I'll show you a little bit of them mixed together. So here's a forward step. Two and three and four. Now I'm going to go to the side. Side, side. Now notice if I just did one side, I go to one side and I come back, we call that a Cuban rock or just a rock step. So I'm doing a rock step. Okay, so I'm just switching. One heel comes up, one heel goes down. Okay, so I'm rotating the hips. And this is where you'll hear about figure eights. My hips are drawing a little eight. It's kind of like they're matching what my feet are doing. So if you look at your foot, okay, you have like the outside edge of your foot. Okay, and you're gonna kind of just draw a little circle with your hip to that outside of that foot. So I draw it back there, then I switch feet and I draw it around that way, okay? So these are my figure eights, my little Cuban rocks that way. Now I could do it without the hips, right? This doesn't look the same, but if that's where you're at, do it without the hips. So this is your side transfer, okay? Then we'll go to a forward and into another forward step, okay? So when there's multiple side steps, that's when we'll get the hip action and the twisting action. All right, so if I do, I'll do it this way. So if I do forward, side, you can see I'm still getting the side by the hip rotation in it. So rotate this step, excuse me, rotate this step, turn, uh, put my foot out to the side, okay? Ball flat, draw around the edge of the foot with the hips, Okay, come back to this one, draw around the edge of the foot. Now, this is so important. Change the weight, then change the hips. Okay, I see this all the time where people change them both. Okay, change the weight, change the hips. That's not right, it's backwards, okay? Change the weight. So notice the hips rotated, the hips over on this foot. Change the weight, change the hip. Change the weight, change the hip. When you change, your weight, you should not relax your hips underneath you. This is, you've released the torque, the twisting action that we've created. We're working hard to create this twisting and you just undid it all. So we want to keep that twisting action there. Notice the diagonal lines in my shirt. I'm not talking about the horizontal lines here, right? Everybody knows I'm talking about the, the, the material is making a diagonal line, right? Okay. So you're like, but he has horizontal lines. Yeah, I do, but those aren't the ones we're talking about. So, I switch feet. Notice my hip is still rotated. Then I can rotate the hip, okay? Change feet, change the hip. Change feet, rotate the hip. Notice I'm not settling the hip out, I'm rotating it back, okay? So it's still staying, I'm still staying at one level. I'm not dropping out of my level, right? I'm, I'm exaggerating so you can see the difference, right? So I'm going to rotate, change weight, rotate, change weight, rotate. Now, as I turn my feet, uh, turn my hips, make sure I'm not turning my feet. I still have to maintain my feet staying turned out at those different levels or those different angles, okay? So as I rotate my hips, my feet are staying very strongly still in my V position, okay? So let the toes stay turned out that way. Okay, uh, I can't stress this enough. When you go to the side, change the weight, then change the hip, okay? Change the weight, then change the hip. They cannot go at the same time. They should not. This is the wrong way to do it, okay? And I see it every day. At any studio I go into, I see it all the time. It's not right. You're relaxing, you're settling the hip. You just lost all the torque. Now you have no power to pull your leg in. So from here, I can pull from this side, I can pull my leg in, and now I'm still torqued, and I can go whichever direction I need to go. Okay, so we wanna use, again, the muscles to put us there, rather than the joints. So I'm gonna do this again from the back here, so you can see. So we change the weight, change the hip. This heel goes down, change weight, change hip. Put the heel down, change the hip. Put the heel down, change the hip. So what I do in real time, step, hip, step, hip, step, hip, step, hip, step, hip, step, hip, 
step, hip. Okay, they are not moving at the same time. Yes, they're connected, they're one right after another, but they're not doing it at the same time, okay? So be honest with yourself. You might be doing a little bit of relaxing or settling, so we don't wanna change the hip and the foot at the same time. This happens all the time in the sidesteps, and it's, it's incorrect. 